You might think the United Nations is a place where any country can speak its mind without being pressured by more powerful members. However, in an interview to the Russian media, the country's foreign minister has shed light on some very murky goings-on. So let's find out more about what Sergei Lavrov had to say, who uh, previously enjoyed a bright career at the UN. Uh, Artis Irina Galushko now joining us live here. Irina, what did, uh, what did Minister Lavrov have to say then? Well, he was talking about the UN General Assembly that uh, voted on the issue of Ukrainian territorial integrity and on the subject of Crimea's accession to Russia on the referendum that took place in the peninsula just recently. And the vote was ostensibly not in favor of Crimea's accession to Russian Federation. However, according to the Russian Foreign Minister, even though the vote is there, it doesn't mean that all countries have voted so out of honest conviction. I'm astonished at how some serious countries are using all their diplomatic might to twist the arm of the whole world. Some delegations are being told there will be consequences if you don't back the resolution. We are aware of that. Colleagues come up to us and trustfully explain why one or another small country is forced to give in. It was, of course, a very lengthy interview with very many issues, burning issues, touched upon by the foreign minister. But another matter that has been on the table for Russia for a very long, long time is, of course, the issue of NATO's expansion eastward. And according to the Russian foreign minister, for years Russia has been assured in writing and most, most frequently in words that no such, no such expansion was actually taking place. However, Mr. Lavrov says that for all intents and purposes, Russia was being lied to for the the past 25 years because all of all of the actions of NATO members it's it's Eastern expansion it's uh, situating uh, military installations closer and closer to Russia's border indicate otherwise and when Russia has actually been asking for legally binding documents to get assurances that NATO isn't looking to expand eastward it's never gotten those uh, it's never gotten that in writing all right RT correspondent Rina Galushko there live right in front of the Kremlin thank you